Matthew 24, verse 3. As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him, Jesus, privately saying, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, See to it that no one misleads you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will mislead many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not frightened, for those things must take place, but that is not yet the end. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And in various places there will be famines and earthquakes, disease, but all these things are merely the beginning of birth pains. Now learn the parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So you too, when you see all these things, recognize that he is near right at the door. Then they will deliver you to tribulation, and will kill you, and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time many will fall away, and will betray one another, and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise, and will mislead many, because lawlessness is increased most people's love will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end, he will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. Therefore, be on the alert, for you do not know which day our Lord is coming. But be sure of this, that if the head of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have been on the alert, and would not have allowed his house to be broken into. For this reason you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not think he will. Take care, brethren, that there not be in any one of you an evil, unbelieving heart that falls away from the living God. But encourage one another, day after day, as long as it is still called today, so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partakers of Christ, if we hold fast the beginning of our assurance firm until the end. While it is said, today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts when they provoked me. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me.